everyone's talking about, well, Baltimore right now. And there are a lot of different things. There are a lot of different topics and subtopics of what's going on in Baltimore. There's, of course, what started this all, the uh, arrest and suspicious death of a man named Freddie Gray. Um, there's, you know, the protesting that occurred after it. And then, obviously, the riot that took place a couple of days ago, which also led to the calling in of the National Guard, talking about how the mayor handled it. And there's a whole lot of different things going on with this, and everybody has their own opinions. I have mine, you have yours, your friend has theirs, your mama has hers. It is what it is. The one thing I want to talk about in particular, though, is what people are calling, the person people are calling the mom of the year. Uh, I believe uh, her last name is Graham, so I'll just call her Ms. Graham. Uh, Ms. Graham is a woman who we see on social media dressed in yellow, slapping her son upside the head uh, because he was preparing to uh, engage in the riotous activity. And she came out, grabbed him up, snatched him up, popped him upside the head several times and told him to take his behind home. And now she's being applauded and she's being praised and she should be. It's a beautiful thing, you know. Um, but here's the problem that I have. And it's not with Miss Gray at all. So if you thought I was going there, don't. Uh, my problem as a black man, is with black men. It's beautiful that a parent went out on the street and snatched up their child so that their child wouldn't get in trouble. That's a beautiful thing. But as a black man, the reason why that black boy had to have his mother go get him was because his father was nowhere to be found. There's no talk about the black father and that's the problem that's one major problem in the black community yes black men are being incarcerated black men are being harassed by the police but you know what black men are not there for their families that's why we have all these single mothers running around all right you there black men i'm calling you out black men i'm calling you out and if you got a problem with it i really don't give a damn what you gonna do all right, these are our children. These are our babies that are running around. And I and I've spent the whole day yesterday saying that these aren't babies, these aren't children. But in 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 the sense of me speaking as a father, yes, those are our children. Those are our babies. Throwing bricks, throwing bottles, engaging the police in a combative manner. All right, and what made me proud was to see the young brothers that were in the gangs put their differences aside, put whatever they had going on aside so that they could actually step up and do something positive in the community. That's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful start. But for those of us black men who are not in gangs, for those of us black men who are gainfully employed or striving to be gainfully employed or just in college, we need to be there for our families. We can't be on these streets acting a damn fool. We should not have to have our women going out into combat zones or, or areas that become combat zones because we weren't there in the first place to teach our kids right from wrong. So now they're out in the street tearing stuff up. And so now our wives, our women, or Basically, as it is, the women that most of these dudes laid with have to go out in the street by themselves to snatch their children up, to bring their children home, beat their behinds in the street themselves all the way home so that they don't become the next Freddie Gray, so that they don't become the next Michael Brown, so they don't become the next Eric Garner. This isn't a problem for white people or whatever. Look, this is our problem, black men. 
we need to step up as a collective, as a collective. Listen, I don't believe that there's a, there's, there's, there's a secret van of white people just driving around snatching brothers up and throwing them in jail. I don't believe that, all right? I do believe that there's a prison industrial complex. I do believe that there's a preschool to prison pipeline. I do believe that there are studies that exist to show how uh, education or the lack thereof can tie into who's likely to go to prison and at what age. I believe in all of these things, but what I also believe is that these things wouldn't be so strong or as strong as they are if there weren't so many volunteers. That's the thing a lot of black people don't want to hear, all right? There's a lot of black people out there doing crime because this is all I got to do to survive. Bullshit. Yes, we have to survive, but we don't survive committing crime. We don't survive by laying with our sisters, making babies with our sisters, and then moving on to the next sister to lay down and make a baby with and keep it moving and keep it moving and keep it moving and keep it moving. Be more careful who you lay down with. Don't lay down at all if you don't have to. Find that woman that you're supposed to be with. Or you know what, if you just want to hoe around, protect yourself. There's so many different messages that I, I'm trying to get out and everything. So let me just break it down to this. What happened in Baltimore over the past couple of days is tragic, but I'm pleased to see that the community, the heart of Baltimore stepped up, stepped up big time. The people stepped up big time. Things are cooling down now. Not so much because of the police presence, not so much because of the National Guard presence, but because the people stepped up and the people are simmering themselves down. Kids are back in school. It's a beautiful thing. But at the end of the day, black men in the black community need to step up and be fathers, be mentors, be guides, be role models. We can't have these rappers and these athletes, some of them may even mean well, but they're rappers and they're athletes. Let them be role models and fathers to their children. Their children are on TV. Their children are rich just because they were born under, you know, having a rich father, what have you. Those average working day Families in the black community need to be led by the men who make them. And again, if you're offended by this, I really don't care. See, that's the problem. Black folk got, a, got, got no problem pointing the finger and, and, and espousing what their opinions are about what everybody else should be doing. But as soon as somebody turns that mirror on us, it ain't about that. It ain't, I ain't talking about that. I'm not talking about what black people doing. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the white man. I'm talking about the police. I'm talk, no, what I'm talking about is some self accountability, some self discipline, some self rely, self period. There's an old African proverb that goes, if there's no enemy within the enemy outside can do us no harm. We need to start focusing on the enemies within, and we need to start repairing ourselves from within. That is why Baltimore is bounding back sooner than later, because it's beginning to repair itself from within. Now we need to dig deeper. Again, I'm talking to black men. As men, we need to come back home. We need to be in our communities. We need to be raising our children. We need to be the, the, the head of our households as opposed to worrying about dodging child support. Because if you're home in your house supporting your family, there'd be no need for child support because the family that supports itself better supports the community. And when the community better supports itself, tragedies such as this don't occur. <sighs> I just wanted to get that off my chest because 
In a couple of days, I'll be doing my radio show, and who knows what's going to be said then. But this message I wanted to get out today. Take care of yourselves. I love you. Peace.